Hey YouTube, welcome to Griffin Grills. I am Griffin. <laughs> hey, I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We're going to get started with our turkey shoot today. Uh, we're going to be doing a 14 pound bird on the Weber kettle. Um, I did brine it overnight with a simple solution. I will link a recipe for the brine that I used in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And we're just going to go ahead and get this started. Alright, so here's our bird after we brined it. And all the brine is, is a salt water solution. Uh, you can add different things for flavor, such as citrus and spices. Um, but we just did ours pretty basic. Like I said, I'll have the recipe in the description below. But here's our turkey. And we got it washed off, patted dry. And we're actually working on stuffing it now. And since I've got a Creo butter injection that we're going to actually inject into the meat, I thought we'd stay with a traditional Creo uh, pattern and use some green bell pepper, some onion, and some celery and complete what's called the Trinity. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and look that up. It'll change your life. We're just going to take the bird. And I've already got some stuff in there. I'm just going to pack in that stuff, try to fill the void inside that cavity. Alright, so now that we've got our bird stuffed up, we're going to get our injector. And I love using injections because they let you impart so much flavor and moisture into your meat. And that's really crucial when it comes to smoking, especially anything... Uh, that you smoke for long periods of time, like 12 hours or more, you've got to keep it moist. So we're just going to insert along the breast, and you just want to stick the needle in. And you don't want to hit the bone, but you don't want to go through the breast either. It's kind of a fine line, and once you do it a couple of times, it gets easier to discern where you're at with it. And we'll hit one spot there, and then we'll work our way down you just want to push real slow because you're going to get some spit back on it it might start coming back out that's fine we're actually going to rub a little bit on the outside anyways and we're going to do both sides of this breast today We're also going to hit down there around the thighs too. Alright, so we'll just take the remainder of our Creo butter, put that on the outside, do a little pepper and some rosemary and we'll get this out on the grill all right good morning we're outside now with our pit and we're going to keep our temperatures somewhere around 300 to 350 for this cook today uh, it is a brisk 38 degrees and it is 7 30 so we'll be keeping track of the time as well as our internal temperatures and hopefully we'll have this ready to go whenever we want to eat um, we're not really on any kind of time structure today so we're just kind of winging it and uh, once you get your recipe dialed in um, you'll know when you need to start things and how long it'll take but a lot of times it's just guesstimation it's just no pieces of meat cook exactly the same so we're gonna go ahead and get our bird on the rack now and the wood we're gonna be using today is hickory I got about three hickory chunks in there And I did this a little different than I usually do a slow and sear. Usually for a slow and sear, you want to bank those coals off to one side or the other and just light about 10 to 12 briquettes. This time we actually did about a quarter of a chimney because I wanted to get that temperature up high fast so I could get the uh, bird on the grill. 
and as you can see we've dropped down to about 282 um, I do have to put the probe thermometer in so let's go ahead and show you how we're gonna do that little probe read thermometer we're just gonna slide that right into the breast and I'm gonna stay over here on the non-fire side and then after a couple hours we're probably gonna rotate this bird around so it gets a little even cooking And just in case you're wondering, that's a 14 pound bird. And this is a regular Weber 22 inch kettle. When I put the lid down, there is about an inch of space between the roof of the lid and the turkey. So you get plenty of clearance in there. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about, because I've never tried, is doing like a beer can chicken. Um, but I have heard you can remove the cooking grate and set the chicken down on the lower grate and they make attachments and do all that but maybe that's something we'll get into on a future video so we're going to let this bird go for right now um, we're just going to keep monitoring temperatures and then we'll come back in about two hours and turn the bird around so it can get some on the other side so stay tuned all right so here we are back outside again it's about 9.30, it's been about two hours, and our temperature has been holding consistently around 300 to 350. It's right at 325 right now. And the internal temperature of our bird is 143. I uh, got the probe in the breast right now, so we want that to go to at least 165. Uh, the thighs, I'll check them with an instant read thermometer, but we want those somewhere around 170. Uh, right now, we're just going to rotate the bird around. And I did cheat and already take a look at it, and it is looking beautiful. But this is what I was worried about, if you can kind of tell. It's a little lighter on this side than it is over here. This is more of a goldeny red, whereas this is kind of a little brown. So what we're gonna do is just rotate this turkey around. And while I've got this open, I'm gonna go ahead and stoke my charcoal, get it all pushed to one side and add just a little bit more to help finish it on out. So while I'm taking care of that, y'all just sit back and relax and then we'll be serving this bird up with all the trimmings here shortly. All right, we're back outside again. It is right at 10.30, and I just checked on our turkey a little while ago. It is done. <clears throat> the internal temperatures are reading about 170 to 180, so I'm hoping it's not overdone, but we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and let it rest. Uh, don't wanna cut into anything right straight away after you pull it off because all those juices that we've worked hard to preserve will just run out everywhere. So let's go ahead and get the uh, turkey on the plate. And I did kind of tint it with some foil just to preserve the color. I had a nice golden red color going and I didn't want cooking it to turn it any darker. So we just kept that nice golden color. barely fit in that dish so we'll let this thing rest and then we'll carve it up and be plating it up to serve all right so here we are back inside and we're about to cut into this bird and see what we got nice color on the skin all the juices are running clear and that is about as bleach white as you can get. So we're gonna go ahead and serve this up. I uh, just wanna take this time to wish you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. And please look out for those out there that are a little less fortunate than you. Uh, 
not everybody has it as great as we do so we need to really appreciate everything we have not only this time of year but all throughout the year thank you and have a wonderful evening